with pink and black being out of commission it's tough for John to get back into the frame with a sizeable break but he's just planning to roll up to this red and rest on the black that's what he has done that's all about he could do there As a matter of fact I think if it's not touching John Higgins is in trouble how do you get away with this Well, that's horrible because he's going to have to play the shot with a spider. And you try playing a little tippy-tappy shot to not just touch the cue ball. Well, I don't think you can do it that way. He's miscuing here deliberately. Eventually. I just hit rock back. I don't know. No, I don't think no, it hit. No, no. No, I just got it rock forward and rock back. Right. Foul and a miss. Why didn't he do the miss. white, did he? Did he hit the white oh, there? He said foul and a miss. Yeah, the white definitely moved. Oh, did it? Okay. <laughs> Mark asked me to be saying he's playing a deliberately miscue there. You see the, the cue ball move. Let's see, if he's going to get the spider right here, this is a horrible shot. See how difficult it was with your hand on the table to play a little touch shot. After the last safety shot that John Higgins plays, how on earth has Mark Selby got the upper hand with the next shot? <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? I don't know what angle he's got on the red, whether he can get the spider and just play the cue ball off the cushion back to where it is now. Also, but what is wrong with playing a, a little push shot into the red, really? You know, okay, you, you just move them half an inch, you know, you're obviously not trying to play a push shot, but if you did play the push shot, you're still covering things up. Miss you again. Thank you, foul. Mark Selby, four. A bit. Yes, he did uh, play a push shot there called foul. And now it's Mark Selby's uh, turn to probably put him back into bat, I would think. Again. The only real safe place is just running off the red that he's closest to very thin and putting the white tight on the right hand side cushion. I mean, you can't score. Even if he pots the red down the cushion, he can't really bring anything into play. I don't even think the red pots that's tight on the cushion actually down, down the rail. So just leave the white tight on the cushion. What is it Steve Davis says? If you look long enough, there's always a shot. That's what he used to tell Mark King. 
I'll be busy finding a shot here. Come with you, Willie, I think it's the the shot. Just leave John the opportunity. He's not going to score from it. Can he not leave the red next to the black to the left middle? Who plays that shot? He was just looking at. He's not even looked at just running off it. I don't think I've ever seen a stalemate in this situation before. Well, it's going to be going on three minutes soon, so far for this shot. It's a safety shot, Mark. I can't help you. Explain the miscue. Foul, miss. <laughs> John Higgins, four. I think your shot's the only shot, Willie, that can be played here. <laughs> if you need to go, you need to go. As long as you don't make me play again. <laughs> One schedule, Lolly. <laughs> That's all we need when it's live. <laughs> But it's a really tricky situation, and uh, like I say, he can just run off this red and leave it tight on the cushion. I don't know why he's not uh, thought of that shot at the moment, at this moment in time, but as you can imagine, it's a very tricky situation. Referee Brendan Moore has obviously had to let John Higgins uh, nip to the toilet because sometimes if you've got to go, you've got to go. Holly. It's a very tricky situation, isn't it? It really is, uh, Stephen. Do you not think that shot just run off it and put it tight on the cushion? Yep, definitely. I mean, even if you leave him straight in that red, the red that's closest to the cushion, he's actually coming to look at it now, I think. He's actually just twigged it. So if I leave John Higgins that red, what can you get from it? The only shot you could possibly leave him is to screw back for the blue, but that's a hell of a tough shot to play in a decider. Fair enough, you give John the advantage if he pots the red and plays a good safety, but I think all of a sudden he's just looked at that shot. But with the pink and black being safe, he knows that even if John pots the red, it's going to be so difficult for him to get back into the frame. John Higgins on his way back, and uh, I've forgotten now, whose shot is it? <laughs> Pick your cup, John. <laughs> well, I don't know what the decision was. <laughs> I don't fancy running off it, leave it on the cushion. Now, if it's touching ball, it's end of stalemate, but it's not touching ball. Now, if we keep playing this for another, say, five shots each, Brendan Moore is entitled to say, look, this is going nowhere. One of you has got to have to play something, and obviously it would be Selby who plays something attacking. But it won't be until another three or four shots each, at least, before Brendan Moore says, look, something's going to have to happen, otherwise it's a re-rack, and Selby won't want to have a re-rack, that's for sure.
can't understand why nobody's playing that thin safety shot onto the side cushion. Yeah, even if, you know, I talked about the shot, being able to put that red and screw back for the blue, but you'd be bridging over the pink as well, so. Oh, what's John Higgins seen? Has he seen a path of getting back to bulk? He has. Whoa. What a shot to end the stalemate. Huh? No hands raised, so that was played. How's he found that one from, Willie? And just look at where the cue ball is as well, just in case the double didn't go in. Covered everything up. And fortunately for John, he's got the perfect angle on the brown. But this is pressure on this brown, trust me. He'll be thinking very positive, but it's a tough brown. Played very easy. And with the pink and black being out of play, it's going to be tough to get back into the frame, but he can do it off the blues. Five. This is a remarkable shot.